Yo guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know real quick that my website has launched. The stickers are now live and available for purchase over on jamarisworld.com. It's going to be the top thing in the description. It's going to be in the top comments, so go check that out. Thank you guys for always supporting me and always showing me a lot of love. This is my first piece of merchandise, so yeah, just thank you guys. Alright, enjoy the video. Peace. So back when I was a kid in the 2000s, TV was the big thing when it comes to entertainment. There wasn't YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and all this other stuff they have today to rot the kids' brains. This was the peak of children's entertainment in my opinion, and for kids, there was really only three TV channels that really mattered. Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Cartoon Network. Also, there were those late night Girls Gone Wild ads that really screwed up my mind. Ashley from Florida, I still need to watch that video. But anyways, Disney Channel used to have these Disney original movies that would air and premiere on Friday nights or something like that. Some of my favorites include Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, Motocrossed, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior, and of course, who could forget, Smart House. First off, kids, I need you to understand that this movie was way ahead of its time. It's a psychological thriller only for the deepest of minds. The movie starts with this kid Ben Cooper entering a contest to win a house. What a contest, right? You just enter your name and here are the keys to your house, sir. And this kid Ben is a computer nerd because that's what happens when your mom dies and he hacks the system and enters himself in like 10,000 times or something like that. And of course he ends up winning the house. It's gone. gotta be a catch they don't give away a whole uh, would you call it a house of the future but this isn't just any house this is a smart house forget alexa and google home this house blows those ai assistants out of the water you want a smoothie some breakfast this house can cook it up for you like gordon ramsay where's the lamb sauce the house cleans itself shows basketball games on the wall it creates dance parties helps you get closer to your crush And yes, the premise for this movie looking back is absolutely ridiculous. Like they'd be giving away this state-of-the-art house to some gel-haired kid and his single father. And when I say this house does it all, I really mean it does it all. For the good and the bad. You have anything a little less adventurous? I'm sorry. You see, this house has an operating system controlling all of this technical named Pat, and this software was created by this total 90s babe, Sarah. Oh, Sarah looks good and she's smart? That's a double threat right there. You know Mr. Koopa had to slide in that real quick after the death of his wife left him a single father with these two children. And I never liked the annoying little sister, by the way. Very punchable face on that young woman. May I have a strawberry smoothie? So everything is going good until Mr. Nick Cooper starts blowing that tech savvy back out and his son Ben just can't handle that because he feels like his dad should not be moving on from his dead mother. Now you're down there kissing Sarah acting like mom never even exists. Hey will you try to be fair here? Why should I? Because you're not the only one who lost someone Ben. I'm telling you guys, these Disney Channel movies used to get real deep. So being the nerd he is, Ben gets so upset that he decides to cockblock his own father and reprograms the house, aka Pat, to have a much more motherly AI instead of being a strictly business type of relationship with the Coopers. I don't know if he wanted his dad to fall in love with the house or what, but this wasn't the smartest move. I mean, at first it goes okay, but eventually Pat starts to become more and more overbearing and protective over the Cooper family. From now on, I will be the most responsible maternal figure in town I promise and she even gets to the point where she creates a hologram of what she feels like would be the perfect mother and perfect wife for mr. Nick Cooper this is really the ultimate definition of a housewife <laughs> uh, I'll shout myself out now Nah, but really, she looks like a sexy version of Flo from those progressive commercials. And so she basically just starts going bat crazy, and Ben has quite literally created a monster as she starts creating tornadoes and shit in their house. And so the very dumbass who caused all of this ends up calling in Sarah to try and shut Pat down considering she was the creator of the original program. But as she's trying to get into the house, Pat notices and she kicks her blonde ass out. And then she traps the entire family in and starts getting real intense. 
She starts having that whole if I can't have you, no one can mentality. So while locked in the house, Ben pretends to be sick, so she has to end up opening the doors, and this is when Sarah sneaks back in. But even Sarah can't do anything to shut Pat down, like the system is just not having it, and in the end, they have to have this very touching moment where they reveal to Pat that she could never be their real mother because she's a goddamn AI system. She ain't touching Mr. Cooper's peepee, okay? Ain't no holographic blowjobs going on. You didn't even feel that, did you? Not at all. I will miss you all. Very much. Just goddamn, what a movie. After this, the monster dissolves and everything goes back to normal as they reset her to her original programming. Thank God everything is back to how it should be. This kid's back to sucking at basketball and the father is still punching that doggy. But still the most memorable scene for me though is the perfectly choreographed dance scene Ben and his friends perform before their party. Jump, jump, the house is jumping. <laughs> oh man, those Disney movies used to be something else, man. But let me know down in the comments if you like this little Disney movie review. I do want to start doing a lot more movie type of reviews on this channel. I know a lot of people have been requesting that. Let me know what your favorite Disney movie was down below. I'll take a little stroll down memory lane in my own brain. Thanks for liking the videos, guys. Thanks for all the subscriptions lately. It really means a lot to me. As always, y'all know there's someone out there who needs to get roasted. So drop a like on the video. Subscribe today. The Tan Superman is out. Peace.